got like short, medium, mm. or like reasonable, and then large. <laughs> What's reasonable? Reasonable hair. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this, I'm looking at lots of unreasonable 80s if hair. If your hair is too long or too short, <laughs> it's unreasonable. You're not in the reasonable camp. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of Playing Favorites. I'm your host, Luke. My favorite color is red. My favorite animal is an ox. Whoa. My favorite co-host. Yes. It, this is your bit. Oh, God, it is my bit, yeah. You, um, you do the bit here. Your favorite co-host is panicking because he didn't think of a thing. He's styling his head. He's such a, such a fiend in the, uh, in the bathroom that he's still styling his hair. <laughs> what? You know, stood there at the mirror. He's to a I can, fiend in the bathroom. You know, I kind of do this. Just stood there, like you know, playing with your hair and like, yeah, you know, messing it around. You better not be at the hairdressers right now. Oh yeah, yeah. You think he's, he's there? To, he's got an appointment booked in for the next hour or so. Oh you know? Jesus! So that's that's a real shame. But instead, you've got me. Hey everyone, they're closed at the moment. So uh, yeah, oh, good point. So uh, his his uh, dad, <laughs> his dad is a hairdresser. hairdresser. Yeah. I guess we'll just bring you along. <laughs> exactly. Um, well, I, I've got a lot to say, um, Luke, because, um, funnily enough, not related to the bit I was talking about at all, but my mum is actually a hairdresser. Um, oh, so okay. I, I, I've grown up. So you, genetically, um, you have a sort of advantage in this question. I have a disposition, yeah, to uh, a yeah. genetic disposition. Yeah. Although I do have more hair than you. That's a good point. I, I, I was curious to ask you this, actually. What is... So, obviously, right now, this is being recorded in June 2020, where the world is ending oh, and spoiler. we're all locked inside. Sorry, spoilers, right, um, for the end of the world. But it means that it, no one can get haircuts, no one can get out. You know, everyone's just got, like, crazy lockdown cuts and beards and crazy beards and stuff like that. Luke, I think it's been the, a sort of similar amount of time since we both had our hair cut. What is your, like, current hairstyle? Yes. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, my hair very rarely goes through sort of a style change. Okay. Um, it usually just gets longer on my head until it reaches a <laughs> critical mass. <laughs> and um, it, it explodes off of your it head. It explodes off of my head and uh, flees. And then you're bald for I'm a, a bald very now. short time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay. Because that, well, that's something I was thinking about. Is And this, this ties into what we usually talk about at the beginning of each episode of what is a hairstyle? Okay. Because if you don't style your hair... Do you have you a hairstyle? You still style? have a hairstyle, yeah. Even like, because because like nat- hair naturally grows into specific sort of uh, groupings. Like you can have straight hair, or you can have curly hair, or you can have wavy hair, or you can have frizzy hair, or. Uh... Luke, did you not get the list open? The I list... have the list of hairstyles open, but oh, dude, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. There's a there is a hair classification system. I oh, knew really? this, but also Google helped. Okay, what what does that mean? What is okay? So type one hair, yeah, is straight hair. Okay, um, fair. that's you know just you know your regular old. You got straight hair. Sure. Type two hair is wavy. Okay, but here's where we start getting complex, because there's also <laughs> type two A, B, and C. Oh, goodness. Okay, what do they mean? And I do not know what the difference is. Right, okay. I have a picture yeah. in front of me. It seems as though... So, they get wavier, the the high... The, the, I was almost going to say the bigger the letter. The <laughs> closer to... A Dude. is the least wavy. Okay, and then C is the waviest. But then it ought to, It seems as though... Okay, so A yeah. is not very wavy and not very many waves, but still wavy. Okay. B is quite wavy, but the same amount of waves. Oh, C okay. is quite wavy with more waves. I see. Okay, because the thing is, look, we're both sat here looking at um, waveforms as we speak into our microphones. Yeah. So is it kind of like a, like an amplitude thing, like a wavelength kind thing? Kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Like, so there's some science to this. I I don't know if I don't know. I don't is know your if it what, is what, science? What style are you going? I'm rocking the uh, the cosine cut I'm, today. I'm a type C. 
you know, I'm going a bit, bit of sine wave, you know, just uh, down the back. Does the spectrum stop at wavy or like... No, it goes to type 3, which is curly. Okay. And type 4, which is coily. Coily? Oh, wow. Which, it, okay. which to me just looks like more curly. Like, it's just uh, very yeah. curly. Yeah, it's almost springy, I guess. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. Uh, more curly. So what, what, would, what would you place? I've pulled up a, a sort of a image here. I think I'm a... Th- I'm a, th- I'm a, two C. You're a two C. Okay, this will be in the show notes for everyone listening at home. I don't know how you're doing that ABC thing because to me, same with straight, they all just look completely. completely yeah, they the same. look mostly the same. Okay. Some of these have one A, one B, and one C, which doesn't make sense to me because if your hair's straight. Yeah, well, that's, why, that's what I'm looking straight. at. Like, there's no... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't understand that. But then the thing is, right, so, so my hair is straight until a point. But then if it's super duper, it like curves over my head with the curvature of my head. So like right now my hair is super long. Curves over your head. <laughs> yeah. And I have it going back over my head. And so the shape of my head sort of constantly curls my hair like over my scalp. If that makes sense. It doesn't help that I've always got headphones on too. So it's like being pressed into shape. Yeah, but that that's like a, um, you've got it like not combed back. I assume you didn't use a comb. I did but... use a comb, yeah. Okay, well, you've got a you've got a comb over. No, Dear it's not God. a comb over. It's um I don't really know. I see this is the thing like that's I don't the... I don't know the names of the styles. I really feel like we should have bought on like a professional. Maybe wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice for every episode if we could bring on someone who's actually qualified to talk about the things we Get a, a haberdasher for hats. <laughs> Get a, a zoologist for fictional bears. <laughs> I guess that would require a fictional zoologist now that I think about it. but <laughs> A fictional zoologist? <laughs> exactly. At the end of the episode, they just fade away oh, and n- never appear again. But yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm always a little bit unsure when it comes to, like, oh, what style do I want to go for? Like, yeah, I don't really I, know. That's the thing. They all have names, and that might be the thing that terrifies me the most. Yeah. Is that, like, every haircut has a name, and I just don't know it. That's the thing. I, I wonder, do people go into, you know, hair salons and barber shops and everything? Do they ask for, oh, yeah, I want a, a high and tight. I want a... I, want yes, a... I, that, I think some people do do that. I mean, what do you, when you go to the hairdresser, what do you ask for? I, I say, usually... Short back and sides and a bit off the top. Well, no, I go a bit a bit deeper. I go... Okay. Number, hmm, number two round the back and sides, and then... Mm. And then I'll so it'll break. Down. I give him a number, yeah. But then it'll break down. So I'll be like, and then like a just sort of long, but like shorter than it currently is. Yeah, on the okay. top, But I like, don't like. Let's not get too crazy. And I have to like break it down for them. They're like, yeah. Last time I went to the hairdresser, <laughs> already, <laughs> already it's good. I said, um, yeah. Can you take some off of the the back and sides and then a little bit off the top? And yeah. they took that to mean like a trim. Like just like take a bit off the back and sides, and they they did literally what I asked for, which is not literally what I wanted. I wanted short back and sides and a bit off the top. What's the thing? Your um, your hair is. I mean, I presume it's very long right now. Yeah. But usually, you for people as we're in an audio medium, your hair is usually like very long, very ginger, mm-hmm. sort of going down the sides, sort of mm-hmm. around your face. What's the silhouette? How would you describe the silhouette? It's like a, like a, like a thumb. Like a, it's a, yeah. My head looks a lot like a thumb. <laughs> That's the shape, the silhouette, because it's yeah, like it goes like you've got it. No, you've got it on either side, and then like it goes. Yeah, over. no, I, I kind of get. It. It's usually quite. Um, it's it's usually not even. It's it's okay. It's typically, it goes to the left. Your hair goes to the left. It it, it is balanced. It's off balanced. Right, okay, because what you're saying, so you've got the two things coming down either side, mm. and one of them's the left one's long. But the left one is usually because, like, my like fringe goes here. Oh, you put that it's on. Not okay. longer, no, I don't have like a. <laughs> is that you never got a bad hairdresser? There was when I so the last time I actually got a proper haircut. Yeah, I cut my own hair. It's not proper. Um, haircut. That was a proper haircut. It's not. I cut haircut. like all of my hair off. <laughs> Um, well, I guess in that case, I went from like long hair to uh, quite short hair. Okay. Um, and there was a point there where I did shave off essentially all of my long hair on one side. 
Oh, so you um, just had it on. So it looks like a fucking cyberpunk character. Oh wow! And then what you could have done is done like like a side ponytail with that. <laughs> that well, would have made me look very stupid. Luke, you could have um, come. Up, you could have invented all kinds of new. You could be on this list on this list of hairstyles on Wikipedia. I did almost like stick with it and go like fully take off everything on the side, have like a full, mm. not an undercut, but kind of an undercut. Okay, see, that's that's a word. I don't know what that means. I don't know what an undercut is. It's usually where you have long hair on top and no hair on the sides and back. I kind of get what you're saying. Okay, fair enough. And I, I think there's something inherently fun about, like, I do this whenever I come out of the shower. And, like, um, well, when I come out of the shower, my hair is just everywhere. I'll give it a big big old rub with the, big, the towel. Big rub with the towel, yeah. And then I can just comb it around and do, like, all kinds of crazy things. Just do, like, do a mob boss stuff. thing. Yeah, just yeah, see what happens. Yeah, I have I like sometimes I've tried like combing it down like over the front of my face, so I look emo as fuck, mm-hmm. like you know all kinds of crazy stuff like this, and it's fun and like you know. But then I'm like, like actually trying to replicate this style. Like get up in the morning, go downstairs. Imagine waking up every morning and styling your hair. I mean, see, I I do that. I spend about. I mean, right now because it's super long, it takes me like seven or eight minutes. But like, what is brush it? Give it a good brush. See, I don't have a brush. I don't know if brushes would work. I don't know. I don't know how long. Well, I I have seen your hair recently, yeah. but that's not the point. I don't know how long it is because I didn't. Because it goes back in measure. <laughs> it goes backwards over my head, so like, oh, wait. kind of hide it. Do you have a tape measure on hand? I do. I I've got a tape measure right here. Do you want me to get... measure a strand? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, listeners, hold on. <gasps> There's my tape measure. Audio might get weird for a sec. Okay. Let's grab a good, good, good. Where tough. are you? Where are you grabbing from? I'm grabbing from like the fringe. Okay, right I'll near the, the front. Same. So it comes down when I pull it over my face. It comes to about my chin. Okay, mine goes about to my collarbone. <laughs> good lord. Okay. Mhm. And then, oh, ah, there's pollen in my hair. <laughs> I need to gonna... sneeze. <laughs> ah! Oh my goodness. Are you okay? I've hay fever. Have you been I think my hair's full of pollen. Are you okay? Right, t- tape measure says nine inches or twenty three centimeters. Okay. I am at about thirty six and a half centimeters. Thirty six and a half. Wow, okay. Thirty six and a half inches. <laughs> You're Rapunzel. <laughs> my hair is longer than me. A ginger Rapunzel. Oh, that's that's incredible. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I've purposely not, even though my mum is a hairdresser, I've purposely kind of not wanted to get it cut. Because I'm kind of just curious to see what happens, like, what happens? if I just let it grow. I have notoriously thick hair. Uh, it's like it's like a badger hide. Um, or like a sloth. Like water just, like, runs straight off of it. Um, which means, like, I don't, I don't It doesn't grow particularly long. Like, I think it's been mm-hmm. about a similar amount of time since we've had haircuts, and yours is very much longer than mine. But mine is, like, sometimes I just struggle to get a comb through it. Cause it's just like a like a hide. It's like thick, like hippo hide. You know? mm-hmm. Hippos just don't have hair, hair, do they? Hippos? No. No, that's a bad. <laughs> we still haven't spoken about what a haircut is. We we've gone we've gone the entire. I don't know how long have we been here? Six hours, no. and we haven't spoken about like. <laughs> yeah, what what actually is what what a what is a haircut? I think well, I agree with you in that like. Almost all of the time, even even if you don't style it, you still have a hairstyle. I think the yes. only difference there would be like maybe if you, I don't know, like just like when I wake up in the morning, my hair is everywhere, it, like literally everywhere. Yeah. Like no, it, it, it's that. up and out, and I kind and, of I get quite just like just voluminous. Yeah, exactly, and that voluminous I think is the actual voluminous. Word. Oh, I love that word. <laughs> yeah, but like that's not a hairstyle. Like I, I don't think that can count as a. a I mean, hair it style. does. Like there, there is a. Well, hold the, on. There's the the, the famous comedian. That's definitely a word for it. There's a UK comedian called Milton Jones, um, who there'll be a picture of in the show notes. But if big you, hair. Well, we'll get on to big hair, Luke. But Milton Jones is this comedian, and his hairstyle is kind of. Well, it's kind of what my hair looks like in the morning. It's kind of this up and out and just. Bizarre oh, looking. I, think I know who that is, actually. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's famous okay. comedian. Wow, all of the pictures of him seem to be like very intentionally drawing to the fact that his hair <laughs> is yeah. very 
the, um, the hair is the focus uh, for this man, I, I think, um, as well as his excellent comedy. But um, I, I, but the thing is, he styles it like this. I think what it, I think it's in the intention. I think that's what it is. It's all in intent. If you're okay and you wake up and you go, yeah, this is fine, you know, sure, that's a hairstyle. If you go, you know, uh, if if you go and style it like Milton Jones does, he styles his hair like this to look crazy. That's a hairstyle. But if you wake up and your hair looks like Milton Jones's hair, that's not a hairstyle. Right? I don't know. Look, you, you, you mentioned something there, which immediately, as soon as we decided on this a topic, I wanted to talk about. Big hair. I freaking love big hair. I okay. Freaking love it. Okay. The bigger, uh, if it's if it's bouffant, if it's if it's puffy and huge, and there's lots of it, and it goes all the way down to like your feet. And maybe like, maybe that's, let me like like butt like butt length hair and like it. Uh, there's a Wikipedia page. Okay. The first contender. The first thing I immediately thought of. If you just type into Wikipedia, big hair, okay? Big hair. And it's like the 80s, 80s big hair. That, that's the classic thing. If you search for it on Google Images, 80s big hair. I love it. I love it so much. But also, there are many cases where it just looks ridiculous and terrible. And it is very big dated. Hair. Like, when you Google 80s big hair, it looks very 80s. And if you styled it like this now, it just wouldn't work. But I love big hair. And I want to know your thoughts. Big hair. Big hair. As a man with medium, medium rare hair, I think I'm in. I, I, big hair, positive. You, eighties big, like eighties big, big hair. Big. Bigger the better. Big. Would you say bigger the better? Big. Bigger the better. Big. Okay, this isn't going anywhere. What about like, because with sun hats, okay, when we did the hats episode, that, hats, what, yeah, what, yeah, we agreed do, on bigger is better. I, I kind of agree. No, I think I do agree. Yeah. Big hair, best hair. Okay, cool. Well, okay, maybe not that much, but, like, I do enjoy... <laughs> I feel like that's a clue. <laughs> okay. No. Well, well, in that case, okay, so so this is almost like a... It's almost like a like a questionnaire, okay? So you've said big over medium or small. Um, well... Up or down? Okay, look, I didn't say I preferred big to anything else. Okay, but you like big. I said I, big hair is good. So on the checkboxes, then, you've got, like, short medium mm. or like reasonable and then large <laughs> reasonable reasonable hair <laughs> yeah, yeah i mean this, i'm looking at lots of unreasonable 80s if hair if your hair is too long or too short <laughs> it's unreasonable you're not in the reasonable camp it's illegal so what would you tick then what box would you tick i'm ticking all of them i think short and medium and big can all be good Okay, fair. It's all just it's in the finesse, you know, it's in the in the the devil is in the details. The devil's in the details. So, okay, in that case we'll we'll insert another little checkbox. Complex or simple? Mm, I I think I'm a simple a simple boy. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we know. <laughs> um, we we know. Um okay, well but then I don't. What does complex mean in this circumstance? Are you like moving parts? <laughs> no, I mean like when you look at cosplayers who are cosplaying as characters from like an anime, Cloud Strife, yeah, or like um, we we had someone in the in the Ginger Folk Discord. They said their favorite hair was um, Cloud Strife, y- y- Yugi from Yu Gi Oh. Oh hell yeah! Uh huh. Again, there'll be a picture in the show notes. And like when you see people cosplaying as that kind of stuff, like how do you feel about this big, complex, dyed, stuck up, crazy angle? I think. My my main issue with that kind of hair, yeah, is how geometric it is. Yes, yeah, your angle because it does it. look deeply unnatural. You're absolutely right. Yeah, no, that is. I don't think you could reasonably. Yeah, I don't think you could have a desk job and walk in in the morning with Yugi's hair from Yu-Gi-Oh with like the I... magenta <laughs> and the like blonde streaks and the angles. I I'm into the colors. I yeah, it looks cool. cool. Like, I do think... There are people who've, like, done it in a way where I'm like, oh, okay, that l- that looks pretty sick, actually. I found a picture here that... It's not the best wig I've ever seen, but, like, it, it it's made Yugi's hair look like a real haircut rather than just a bunch of triangles. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Which I don't appreciate very much. Yeah, I- I'm seeing this picture you- you've sent me. Like, I think when it's reasonable 
Like, and it looks, mm-hmm. they, as you said, they've just made an effort to make it look more, more real. You know, I presume mm-hmm. part of the style in these, in the context of manga and anime, is the kind of, well, for for hair certainly, is the sort of angular shapes and the that kind of stuff. Oh, fuck, you just maybe just rocked from my world, and I might have just changed my favorite live mid episode. Oh my goodness! Okay, this is huge. Because I did, just realized that my favorite haircut. Yeah. Okay, we'll get there. Well, okay, so look, I'm looking. So I'm looking at various pictures. What what I've just been reminded of. I was quickly and surreptitiously searching for a um an Overwatch World Cup um like caster, I guess, or like someone on the panel. Mm-hmm. Um, her name is Zoe, uh, S O E, and her hair. It actually looks pretty reasonable, but often she's cosplayed as like Tracer, the character from Overwatch, mm-hmm. um, and that's kind of the thing. So if you, if you pull up like a picture of Tracer, yeah, I'm looking. That's kind of borderline between like. I don't need to pull up a picture of Tracer. Okay, I know fair. what Tracer looks like. Is that like more real hair? Is that airing towards real life or more anime manga? Because that's kind of in the middle. Mm, okay, so Overwatch haircuts. We're gonna. This is the. the hello, welcome to the newest. Uh, Segment, segment on playing favorites. <laughs> what is where what? Luke talks about Overwatch? Okay. Um, Overwatch haircuts are bad. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't. I. They're mostly like, they kind of do that. Like, they're they're very cartoony. Obviously. Yeah. Who has the stupidest haircut in this game? Um. I mean, I, I'm actually, I've changed my mind. They're good. I take it back. But yeah, what? So who was who? Are Traces you is bad. <laughs> Traces is great. What are you talking about? I don't oh, like Traces. Oh, that's sad. What a tragedy. Traces. It, look, it's too boring to be no. as wild as it is. It's cool. It, it's it's up. It's pointy. It's fun. Yeah, but like, give us like, I don't know. Just put like a purple streak in there or something. That'd yeah, make it better. Maybe. What, Traces got some skins that like. The make ultra it good, hair. actually. But but then looking at so looking at good hair in Overwatch, then another one that comes to mind, which ties it. This is the a prime example of my big hair hypothesis. Big, big hair, good hair. Yeah, and that is the character. Who was <laughs> <was> a gorilla? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> is the character Widowmaker? Okay, yeah. Who has this very long, she has huge good hair. ponytail? Yeah, which is just awesome. Um, and it's jangling stuff. And it looks yeah. great. So, I want to talk about ponytails. Okay. Go ahead. They're good. Yes. Love them. Love ponytails. On men and women? Yes. Okay. Equally? No. Yeah. I think think it's harder to have a good ponytail as a man. I would agree. But that doesn't mean you can't do it. It's definitely possible. Yes. Just most men... Who have ponytails aren't putting that effort in. Have you yeah. ever considered doing a ponytail for Absolutely. yourself? Absolutely, yes. Really? In fact, I wouldn't even say I've considered it, Harry. I'd say I've, I have done You've it. You've done it. You've had your hair in a ponytail. <laughs> I've had my hair in a ponytail, yeah. Not for, like, days at a time. Do you have pictures? No. <sighs> I'm sorry. Show notes. Ruined. Those, okay. those show notes are ruined. We, we, can, we can all imagine, I'm sure. Um... Well, that's fair. Yeah, ponytails are great. Well, that, that leads us on to then the question. So, on the checkboxes, right? Moving down, mm-hmm. up or down? See, okay. Or I have sideways. a lot of opinions about this. Okay. I think... I've had to think about this for a long time. I think down, but up... Okay. <laughs> up, good. Up, good. <laughs> yeah. Best part about up... Yeah. Is when it goes down. Oh, so you want some curves in your hair? No, I mean like you know when someone has like a a cool ass ponytail. Yeah, and it goes up and then they and then down. And no, 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 and then they take out that ponytail and all the hair just comes down oh, over man. their butt and it's oh, like yeah. hell yeah, love like all that hair. Classic film trope. Yeah, someone takes off a hat mm-hmm. or something or lets down there and it's flowing. Yeah, no, that is that is. <laughs> and, and they are also known as Rapunzel and they let down their hair. Hey, oh. Samson from the Bible. A Samson from the Bible. Well, actually, maybe Samson from the movie Samson. He would have been a great favorite to have for this episode. Not that you're choosing a, your favorite haircut on a person, but exactly. Sorry, when I said I just want to quickly correct myself. Otherwise, I'm, I'm sure we'll get hundreds of emails, Luke. But uh, when I said mm-hmm. Samson, there, I didn't mean from the Bible. I meant from the 1984 movie Sam's Son, um, which Ooh. is about a boy who I think wants to 
play what? Uh, American football or something, or some kind of sport. <laughs> uh, and also, he has the same thing as Samson from the Bible, where he can't cut his hair. Um, you fucking, this is a movie that exists. Yes, so it he, exists. He, he can't cut his hair because he'll lose the magic of football. I think that's kind of the idea. I've not se- I'm aware of the film. I've not seen it. And then in the sort of final scene, he's playing the big game or whatever, and he's got it all like locked up in like a, some kind of hat or like hairnet style oh, thing. Yeah, helmet. And he if he's pl- play- is helmet. He like that might football? be it. Yeah, I think it's a helmet. And he like takes it off, and like it all float like you know majestically flows down. Mm-hmm. He goes and he wins the game all of that might be wrong i've not seen the film <laughs> the plot is several paragraphs on wikipedia but tell you what it's got a great poster <laughs> don't know if i'd agree with that look at him on the left he looks so anguished yeah this this poor guy this poor man <laughs> just oh. the fucking magic of football excellent um this, I, I think there's a reason no one's ever heard of this film but oh, you've um, heard of it Except for me, and all the hundreds of people who have already sent in their emails. Yeah, anyway, I like up hair, but I like down hair too. I think what we're realising is I don't... I haven't, like, said well, anything's bad. I, like, think these, doesn't... I think that's my fault. I think these are bad questions, because I don't think... <laughs> okay. I don't know if there is an ultimate hairstyle. I think it's very personal. Mm-hmm. I think it's individual. I don't think, you know, it's not like we could just apply one hairstyle to all the people of the world... And it, it would look great on everyone and be great for everyone. That's true, actually. That's a really good point. <laughs> Which makes it a difficult um, topic for this for this podcast. Now that we're thinking about it, geez, this is a stupid one. But huh? we've... we've done it before. We did it with hats, you know. <laughs> Stars, not everyone can wear the same hats. And this is just our favorite. Not everyone can wear a big floppy sun hat. Weirdly enough, a lot of our favorite hats would never work with our favorite hairstyles. Very they true. almost directly contradict. Well, I can't because because my hair goes back and up. I can't really put hats on. You can't wear a hat. Yeah, because then it because your hat your hair is a solid object. Exactly, it just sits on top of the hair <laughs> like a little. It's like an iceberg, um, <laughs> which is which is a problem. But I mean, I, I can do. I could do, I guess. But like, um, in fact, I've had to wear wigs before for for stage shows and stuff like that. Yeah, and they're quite fun. Because you never know what your real hair is going to look like when you take that wig off. Because it just has to be compressed now. I mean, yeah, it's completely crushed. Yeah. There's and then no... you... It's like it's like Samson. You're like, I pull the wig off and it just... And all of your hair flows graciously out. Yeah, look, you know when I was younger, right? So here's an mm-hmm. anecdote. Uh, I would have probably been about seven. And I remember talking to my mum in the bath. Okay, mm-hmm. I was in the bath. And... So we were talking about hair stuff because up until that point I had this weird little flat haircut just like the most nothing yeah, like haircut like a child yeah child, the def- haircut, child yeah. hair Every, yeah. everything gets cut completely equally <laughs> yeah it's just across normal across your entire head it's before you've entered when you just load up the create your character screen and like you mm-hmm. haven't changed anything it was that it's kind of what it is when you're a kid but and we were talking about hair because I think like some some kid in the playground had called my hair boring or something and my mum was like oh why don't you put a bit of gel in it you know like stand it up a little bit yeah do that they cla- that's the kid's <laughs> first haircut yes is the same but the top is spiky <laughs> slightly up yeah exactly i i love how unanimous this is um and and so i like i think she was pitching that to me and i was like okay yeah yeah let's do something with this what i was thinking though what i wanted in my heart of hearts and what first came to mind when this idea was pitched to me was you know shadow the hedgehog oh hell yeah (laughs) i wanted my hair to be going backwards (laughs) and spiky like shadow or sonic the hedgehog uh, oh, with like, because I have very dark hair as well, and I'm thinking like, I was imagining it with the red, like the red, red st- highlight, yeah, yeah, going going, going, going backwards, and like in my mind, I would become Shadow the Hedgehog, uh, and that was my Damn. goal. Never quite achieved it. Um, I think mm-hmm. I think that's kind of what I wanted. Yeah, I th- there's always time. <laughs> there is always time. I don't think I don't think maybe if it was shorter because it's too floppy right now, like it flops all over the place. But like there's maybe still time. Maybe if I got like like modeling clay, like what's this like the strongest like gel pomade material, and just like what if we all came out of quarantine looking like Shadow the Hedgehog, like, various Sonic characters, you know? Oh, there you go. What you if can... I come out of quarantine looking like Vector the Crocodile? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, there's all kinds of possibilities. How much has your haircut evolved over over the years? Did you have the default child haircut? 
because I'm struggling to imagine Luke Conflict. Yeah, I did. I I did Default Child. Yeah. And then I moved to doing like short back and sides a bit. Okay. And then eventually one day I just never cut my hair. And now, um, then you became the Luke we all know and love. Okay. Is yeah. that? Do you have any? So, <laughs> well, I'm running with this narrative now. Much how I want to one day become Shadow the Hedgehog. Do you have like a desire? Like, if oh, I'd love to try and pull that off. Like a ha- a hairstyle you're fixing for where you're like, oh man, I- I'd love to learn how to do that. What what I need to put into it, how to style mm-hmm. to get this haircut. Like, what for you would be the coolest haircut? I don't know. I've thought about this a lot. Yeah. Because I, I'm, in general, someone who... I, I don't put too much effort into my appearance. Yeah. And, like, I don't want to have a haircut that requires too much effort. Okay. And that's kind of why I have the haircut that I do. But that's also why I've considered, like... I could do, like, a top knot seems pretty easy, and I'm not against it. Like, just take off, like, the, the sides of my head. No, my hair. <laughs> yep. Um, you don't want to t- say that to the barber when you walk in. You just take off the sides of my head. T- um, yo, you got that big cleaver that you use to cut people's hair. Purely logical beings. It's like a computer program, you know? Mm-hmm. That Oh, there's your there's your Black Mirror episode, you know, when, when the hair salon is being run by robots, and you say, mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah, just take off the sides... And you know you don't say the sides of your hair, and so they chop both your arms off. Yeah, oh. yeah. Top knot is the where it's kind of got this little sort of in the in the ponytail position. It's got like yeah. the little little knot, just like a little sort of little knot. and then everything else is kind of short around it on well, the sides and everything. Yeah, I yeah. think I think I could do that, but then that'd be cool. But then I'd have to cut my hair more because I'd. <laughs> Because then you reach the point where it's like, oh no, the sides of my head are too long now, and I look like a sumo wrestler. Uh, which, in case you're wondering, the name of a sumo wrestler's haircut is a... Uh, hold on. A Chon Mage, I think is it's pronounced, but I don't know. Well, did you know that off the top of your head, or did you look that up? Uh, uh, yes. Aha, I found it. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> you son of a bitch, you weren't supposed to know. <laughs> I've got it on this list of hairstyles Wikipedia page. By the way, Luke, heaven forbid, should we actually do an episode of Playing Favorites where there isn't a Wikipedia page for list of thing? I honestly, genuinely was terrified when yeah, one I... day it's gonna happen. We got lucky with fictional it has bears. To happen one day, I can't believe fictional bear. We don't need to talk about that now. We, we don't, but it's it's very fortunate. Um, and looking at these ones, I'm actually seeing just above the the sumo wrestler one is one called Ch- it's spelt Chignon. It's mm-hmm. probably pronounced not like Sh- that. Shinon. Shinon. Shignon. Something like that. It's French. Yeah, it's got this like it's like a bun that like goes like sort of it's almost like touching the neck. It's sort of a, yeah, a women's I'm, hairstyle, but it looks like it. And it like kind of curls round. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I love and is maybe a little bit of a clue towards what what my favourite could be. Yeah. Um I already know what your favourite is, Harry. There's no way you but do. But we don't need to get there. No, okay. I do. Well, I guess we've got to do. We've got to do um, listener listener Aud- answers. Audience responses. Audience, yeah. Our live studio audience. They've all got. If you look under your chairs, <laughs> no. you've got uh, voting pads. Come the mic. <laughs> yeah. Your uh... Q and A. Oh, that's totally. If we do a live show one day, we oh. could d- get people off the street <laughs> to record audio that we play during the podcast of them saying their favourite and why it's their favourite and respond to that. That's a really good idea. One, one day. Let's about. just, uh, yeah, let's just uh, move on from that one. Uh, but yeah, what, what we got What we got then from uh, from the Twitter? What have people had to say about their favourite hairstyles? All right. We've got a lot. Wow, um, okay. We, we've got two of them are the same, so we'll address that first. Okay. Undercuts. Undercuts. With, with fade specifically mentioned. What does that undercuts, mean? Undercuts. The, uh, fade is where okay, so it's like where you have an undercut, but the undercut gets shorter as it goes further down on the sides. Um, so it looks like the hair kind of fades away. Yeah. Oh, okay, that sounds cool. Um, I like that. The fades are alright. I'm, I'm. And the undercut, as you explained earlier, is where it's like, like long. The, the back the and front? sides are cut. Yeah, long, long on the top. It... Back and sides are, are cut. And is it? Get... Is it the whole top is long, or is it like is the under aspect of it, it can that be, like the sort of back it of can the have top? A variety of lengths. Okay, that does sound um, quite cool. That's kind of what I do, but with 
um, all of it's long because it's quarantine. Um, mm-hmm. And <laughs> often I, it's reached the point where I sort of start it going. I'll push my hair round to the sides. So I kind of end up mm-hmm. with this like 80s high school movie villain look where I've kind of got this like center parting oh, yeah. draping okay. down over the sides mm-hmm. thing, which just naturally happens. I would love to go for like a I like an undercut. Harry, there, there, is, there is one kind of hair that I do hate. What is it? And it is a center parting. Yeah, but mine's not a real I center parting. don't like when hair, especially with like curtains... Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I used to know and a guy. It's just, I don't like it. That's you look, not good. I don't like them. Uh, I, I've just typed in center parting onto, onto Google, though, and a lot Regular of it is with women. Regular center partings, are, they're, they're fine. That's just, like, that's yeah, just that's how just your normal. hair go. But oh, like, I'll tell you what, though. This is something that has to be addressed. Um, we'll get back to listener responses in a moment. Okay, Luke, type into Google Scarlett Johansson. Okay. This is a hair I hate. This is so we've got Luke's. She's gonna, she has like seven hundred haircuts. I know, but there's a particular picture that comes up. Okay, Luke's done his okay. hateful playing playing hate roots. Play, playing hate. Okay, playing hate. I'm gonna do mine. Hating favorites. I hate <laughs> the first picture, the big one, the portrait one above her name, uh, where the hair uh-huh. has been like combed down to like a millimeter to, thick. To the th- yeah. And it's like strained down over the sides behind the ears. It's been tight as, as it could possibly tight as it be. Could be. Yeah, and there's just no, it's like a decal that's just been like mm-hmm. plastered over okay. the scalp. I hate it. I hate it so much. You know what? What do you think? Yeah, I can I can agree with you. Sorry, okay. Scarlett Johansson. Sorry. You've got a very successful movie career. <laughs> yes. I'm sure things are going well for you. Yeah, I think you had a child recently. And in fact, um, I, do, I do, in that case, let me just step in. As with always, I'm playing favourites. If I say, you know, <laughs> me or Luke says we hate something, it doesn't mean you can't have it. It means that I wouldn't choose to have that or, like, I would... Act- or see it or no. experience it. Or... It's just not my preferred, but people can make it work. Um, I would actually say Scarlett Johansson in this picture makes it work, but when compared to all of our other hairstyles that I'm looking at here, I would say all of these are better. But that doesn't mean she doesn't make it work. So there's a subtle difference. Please don't feel bad about yourself. Your hair's probably quite cool. End of <laughs> PSA. Luke, quickly, what are the listener responses? Just in case Scott Johansson. Just in case she's listed. I've already I've one. checked the email, Luke. She's already emailed in. He's Scott Johansson's yeah. in the live studio. <laughs> she's in the Oh, Scarlet, hi. Yeah. Oh no, Luke. It's terrible. Right, give us another response quickly. Audience response. Uh Afros. From Afro Man. Makes sense. Yeah, I wouldn't have expected anything less, and also I agree with them. I agree with them. They're him. not my favourite. I love afros. Afros are awesome. If you have an afro, you're a cool person. Even on white people. Okay, well, look. <laughs> <laughs> look, buddy. I think, I know, I think that's reasonable. Like, I think, because, I mean, afro, like, you know, that's where the name of the hairstyle comes from. Mm-hmm. Um, is, is it, I guess, traditionally, it would be a, a black hairstyle? Mm-hmm. But I th- I think it looks better in-, in that case as well. Like I've also I've searched for Afro, um, and it's it, often it's got the the, sp- the what was the we were looking at the childless springy or the coily hair. Mm-hmm. Like I'm seeing a lot of that. It's very coily. Yeah, but then there's also extremely coily. Yeah, there are also like bouffant, like very um, fluffy looking afros. Um, mm-hmm. So I guess there's a bit of variation there within the afro. So yeah, I mean, there's an afro isn't one thing. You know, there's there's lots of different types of afros out there. I really like afro puffs. Ooh, is that a okay? Yeah. Oh wow! So that's like when it's like a a blob on top. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, that is you quite can cool. Get two blobs. Two blob up to six blobs. <laughs> oh, dude! Can you imagine that? Wow. Seven. It's like the Dragon Balls. <laughs> you got seven uh, blobs like rotating on the head. <laughs> It's kind of um, in Star Wars, what, Rey? She's got, like, the three little ones. Up, the like, three, going, yeah. Uh, I, down the back of her head. Um, there you go. She... That's an afro. Or not. All right, Luke, what, 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 are the, what are the responses have we got? Go on, give us another. Uh, let's go with... I closed the Twitter page. Oh, dear. Hold on, let me use my the power of my mind palace. Guy Fieri's hair was one of the responses from Ellis. Guy Fieri's hair fucking sucks. Yeah, I, I, I mean... <laughs> but also... I could not imagine Guy Fieri with any other haircut. Yeah, I mean, that's this, like, weird blonde... It's so perfect. It's like, is that Frosted Tips? Is that what frosted that is? Frosted Tips, yeah. Yeah, and they're sort of going up and it's a little bit It's so out. good. Like, Guy Fieri's haircut could not be my favourite. But Guy Fieri is my favourite 
pass. Yeah, I think <laughs> put on the record quick. I think that Guy Fieri is the he's the epitome of what we were saying earlier, and that like even though I don't like his hair, he plays mm-hmm. it off perfect. It is his haircut? Like it's yeah, exactly. Uh, I can't see him with any other hair, and that's why it's that's what you should be looking for in a haircut. I think is. You know, it, it, it it's you. It's, it's part it's of you. Part of you. Yeah, yeah, literally. I mean, it is connected to it your. Definitionally head. is, but also it should be metaphorically. Unless you're wearing a wig, but I mean, then it's That's still it. part of you. Oh, look! I thought of this question the other day is is bald a hairstyle? I was surprised we didn't talk about this earlier. Okay, um, just quickly and one sentence. It, I don't want to say no, so I'll say yes. Perfect. <laughs> Moving on. Excellent. Okay then, Guy Fieri. Yeah, all in all, not so bad. I love Guy Fieri. Any others? Before I'm, I'm feeling myself uh, warming up. Any other hairstyles that were listed? I don't have the Twitter page open. I know that there's another one. A man bun. Man bun. Man bun. Man um. bun. We mentioned top knots. We have not spoken about man buns. They're the same thing. Yeah, I feel um, I feel cheated. Okay. Um. Uh. They. I like a man bun. Although, I don't like people with man buns. Unless... No, that's not true. Most of the people I've met with man buns... Yeah. Have Wait, been wow, you've met multiple. Real assholes. Okay. Yeah, I don't... I'm thinking of one person in particular who was just a piece of shit. <laughs> um, well, you know what I got from that, Luke, is that man bun probably isn't your favourite. Well, you'd be surprised. <gasps> Is it? It's not. Okay, no. well then. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind then. Um, okay then, Luke. Well, I think it's um... fine. Okay, I feel like Guy Fieri is our jumping off point because my my favorite is nothing to do with Guy Fieri's. Okay. It is a f- a, a female hairstyle. Usually. It's Princess Leia's haircut. Good guess. That's a good style. I don't think you could do it in real life. But I like it. But it's you not do my favorite. That, that is real hair. Yeah, it's on the list. It's on the list, and it even says like, "made famous by um, by Princess, Princess Leia. Leia of Star Wars fame." Yeah, of Star Wars, Star Wars film. Um, but yeah, and no, it's not my favorite. I'm genuinely astounded. I thought I had that one. Hmm. You're not a million miles off either. My my favorite hairstyle is known in the general world as. A beehive. Are you f- okay? A beehive haircut. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I know the one. Yeah. Okay, it turns out just googling beehive doesn't. Beehive hair. <laughs> yeah, make sure you um, tack that on. It comes in all kinds of mo- oh, shapes and okay. sizes. Harry's okay. been watching watching a lot of The Simpsons recently. So. Oh, okay. There is a very Marge Simpson looking <laughs> one on there, but ignore that, okay? Because a beehive. A lot of them are Marge Simpson looking. Not Harry. all of them. Not all of them. No, I would disagree. Okay. Definitely not as tall as Marge, okay? And not even the same style. It looks different, okay? Because a beehive haircut, I mean, again, picture and show and stuff like that. Uh, it's kind of got this... There's all kinds of different... I couldn't even describe it to you because it's just up and big, okay? It's kind of what I was talking about it earlier. It's up and big. Yeah, and they, some of them curl back round and some of them are big and some of them are curly. Some of them are just like a stack, like a big tower. Um, some of them are shorter. Some of them are taller. I think there is a cap. There's one particular picture which is ridiculous. It's the most Marge-like of them all. Um, is it a picture of Marge Simpson? No, <laughs> but that's not really good. But the the sort of more the more tame ones where I do I do enjoy a bit of like folding in there. I don't want it to just be a perfect tower. Biggest. I think is great. <laughs> Thank you for including the word hair at the end there. We're going to talk about the world. Save it for favorite beehives, Luke. Do you think someone broke the world record? Like, Maybe. is there a world record? Can you imagine? It must be. I don't know. I, I love it. I think that's all. Like. That'd be awesome. World's tallest hairdo. Oh, okay. I guess it would count as a beehive. Six and a half foot. Wow. Beehive. Oh man. Picture Harry. That. Six and a half foot. Okay. Oh, that's like taller than me. Me. Yeah. <laughs> man. That's huge. That is. How tall was the person? Do you hold on? <laughs> Unfortunately, our website is currently unavailable in most European countries. What? <laughs> Are you fucking... I, I need to know. 
Oh man, okay. Oh, that's annoying. Switch on that VPN. Yeah, but when it comes, so when it comes to behavior, yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> we're sponsored. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's so much to um, so much to work with. The, the styling is is excellent. It's very versatile. There's different ways you do it. Um, it was actually developed in, in in sort of Harry, the 60s. Go on. I've realised something really funny. What have you realised? Our favourites are the same. Really? No. Okay. <laughs> but they are. Well, that makes me want to hear your favourite. I know. What is it? Harry, my favourite haircut is uh, Super Saiyan haircuts from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we were like six layers in earlier. <laughs> Dragon Ball, so Dragon Ball Z hair, right. Specifically, like... Dragon Ball, like, Goku Super Saiyan 1. Okay, yeah. So that's just this, like, angular... It's just point spikes. But... Very up. It is a beehive, though. No, no, it isn't. It's not. <laughs> it it doesn't have the rounded nature of the yeah. beehive, but it's got the... It's got up and up. tall. Yeah, up it's and tall. It's got the up. Absolutely. We, we can agree on that, which is nice. Um, I actually think, like, like, I wouldn't wear a beehive... But like, if you were to convert it over wear. into like a more masculine hairstyle, I feel like this. Yeah, I feel like this is the equivalent, the exchange rate. Um, I feel like that that carries Let's over. See if there's any pictures of people with Bassein hair. But now I'm, I'm, yeah. That doesn't look like it's made of pyramids. So do you only prefer it in like a fictional setting then? Like, if you saw someone That's in the, the street I with think this, it is. It is a haircut that is completely impossible in real life. There, okay. there is no, there is no real, there is no reality. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. No one on Earth could ever have a Super Saiyan haircut. I don't think you could convert it over, you know, just just as it is in in the you know in the anime and the manga. No, it would it would require some so, some, some dramatic changing changing. Yeah, um, and and that um that that picture that that you were talking about earlier with the where someone's kind of made it their own have kind of made it a bit real where it's not just like big spikes they've kind of I, that's the made thing. it a bit fluffier i don't think that is possible for super saiyan hair because okay. it is just up yeah like i don't think it's possible to generate the like structural integrity of yeah. the hair okay i mean you said did you did you did you change your favorite earlier i did yeah. what was your original favorite Okay, my original favorite was going to be it's a it's a hairstyle that's popularly known as yeah Odango. Um, Odango, but also it's not actually popularly known as that. It's it's buns. I look it's oh, buns, but it's twin buns. Ah, it's kind of like Leia. Yeah, I see. But you know that it's mm. it was popularized by Sailor Moon. Um, okay, a, of Sailor Moon. Yeah, <laughs> yes. See, th- this feels like a better... I feel almost... Uh, I almost feel a little bit cheated that you went with a fictional what, hair. I switch. I switch. No, no, that you went with a fictional hair. I feel like like mm-hmm. looking at this one, because this is a much more reasonable haircut, and actually looks really good. Buns themselves are very versatile, and you can do a lot with them, and I feel like you could probably carry that over into a, a double bun Odango-looking thing. Um, But, but th- yeah, th- this feels much more reasonable. I feel like... I feel like you've got, like... <laughs> what we've done is the alternative vote where you've put like your niche, not really real hair as like your number one preference, and yeah. then your number two for when that fails is this for one. When, for when, for when Super Saiyan hair falls through. Yeah, is is this 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 I want grounded you to know, realistic one? Um, earlier in the episode, um, I did a Google. Yeah. And I started laughing a bunch okay. because I fucked up my Google search really bad. Okay, but it was when we were talking about Widowmaker. Yeah. And I wanted to look at the Beach Widowmaker skin to see a haircut in that. Okay. But I had already typed Super Saiyan. <laughs> yeah. So I googled for Super Saiyan Beach Widowmaker. Um, One shudders to imagine. Unfortunately doesn't exist. Oh. But I had a glimmer of hope when nothing, like, tried to stop me. <laughs> Excellent. Well, okay then. Luke, I think that's hair. I think that's what okay. it is. That's we've talked about hair. We didn't even talk about dyeing hair at all. I like it. I like dyeing hair. Me too. I feel like it works better when it's longer, though. Is the thing, and I don't. I have... also. I like dyed hair, but not holistically. I like like highlights. Yeah, yeah. I think that's fair. 
Is there a crossover or, um, point where it's like, do you like streaks or like if you? Yeah. Okay. What if you just There's left like, like the base? Like if that was its dying, like your roots and stuff. That's that's good. What's the one where you dye like the ends of your hair? Uh, tip. It's got a tip name. Dip. Tip dip. Dip dyed. Tip tip dip. Tip dip. Tip dip. I don't think it's called tip dip. It's you, called you take dip the, dye. Take the tip um, and you give it a dip. Don't <laughs> listen to him. <laughs> um, yeah, there you go. So, so dying. Thumbs up. Oh, do you think? Can <laughs> you love, can, love dying? <laughs> can you imagine? Like a could you dye a bun? Could you do dyed buns? Dyed buns. Yeah, that does sound like a baked food product. Mm, sounds delicious. Delicious dyed, dyed buns. buns. Holy shit! Yeah. Yes, is the answer, is what I've learned. Oh, wow, yeah, now look at this. There's some sick hair. Wow. Yeah, so the, so mostly with a single bun, by the looks of it. There's some double buns in there. Double bun dye. Man, it's twice the amount of dye. Now there's pictures of dyed hamburger buns. That's not what I was No, that's for. disgusting and gross and unnatural. <laughs> I don't... It's an affront to God. <laughs> oh, what a... Oh, what a terrible way to wrap up <laughs> dyed buns good but dyed buns dyed buns <laughs> bad Wh- whoever 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 dies wins mm-hmm. no who 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 dies wins who like, dies you know, wins there you go like the like the SAS thing gotta sneak the pun in there somewhere you know just go <laughs> anyway Luke that's that's uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's the end of an episode I reckon that's um, that's I think there's no more hairstyles. We talked about them all. We probably mentioned most hair probably. hairstyles. Um, but as per usual, Luke, we want to hear about your favourites. We just spoke about my favourite. No, Luke, we want to hear about your favourites. I'm pointing. Right, I'm, I'm pointing to the live studio <laughs> audience. Hello? That's you. You. <laughs> We want to hear about your favourites, uh, as well as you know future topic suggestions and uh, who you think had the better favourite out of me and Luke. There'll be a poll on Twitter. That's a cool thing to vote in. That'll go up shortly when the episode has been made available for everyone. Um, other than that, Ginger Fork Patreons, they get one week of early access to this wonderful podcast that we do. So that's very exciting. If you um, support Luke at $3 or up, very cool. Early access to the episodes. Um, otherwise, everyone else gets it and you can all vote and discuss and that's all nice. If you want to get in contact with us, we are on Twitter at Play Favorites. Remember, Favorites has a U in it because you are our favorite. And so the U is in Favorites. F-A-V-O-U-R-I-T-E-S. Did you say that last time we recorded? I don't think so. But I'm saying it now. Is this a new thing? And also there is uh, playing favorites podcast at gmail.com where you can email in with all kinds of suggestions and opinions and stuff like that. Um, and we'd love to hear from you. And we hope you enjoyed. We hope you hoped. you. No, we hoped wow. you enjoyed. I've, I, I've lost it. We, we hope we that hope, you enjoyed. We hope that you We hope. Yeah. We hope. We hoped you enjoyed listening to it. <laughs> now we don't we care. Got to the, end now. <laughs> the spark's wow. gone. Yeah, the spark's gone. Um, yeah, I hope you had a good time listening to this episode. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.